Congressman Michael Waltz, Republican from Florida, joins me now. Congressman, good morning to you. Uh, we should point out, I guess, that Florida has been open for business pretty much throughout the pandemic. Is that part yeah. of the reason? Oh, it absolutely is. It's part of this kind of balanced, common sense, freedom first agenda. Uh, we have a great governor uh, leading the way. We have Republicans leading our state legislature and, uh, and a Republican majority uh, in our state uh, delegation in Congress. Uh, and what you've seen is just this common sense balanced approach. Our schools have been open five days a week in person since last August. And what that means is when kids are in school, parents can be at work. Uh, and with this focused approach of keeping the, the economy open, plus focusing on the most vulnerable during the pandemic, our elderly and, uh, and those with comorbidities, and that's everything from PPE to nursing homes to who we prioritized in the vaccines. That combined, I think, is why you're seeing this fantastic uh, job growth. Ah, oh, but Congressman, wait a minute. California's Governor Newsom says his state ah. tops Florida in nearly every economic category. Please set the record straight. Yeah, well, I think uh, he's got some, uh, Governor Newsom's got some selective spin going on, uh, <laughs> just like he did when, uh, when he selectively followed his own rules going to the, the French Laundry restaurant. Because if you look at the actual data, uh, yes, they are coming back in certain categories now that they've lifted some of their mandates. Uh, but on the other hand, you have their unemployment rate well exceeds the national average. You have major right. industries and companies like Tesla leaving in droves. California is going to lose a representative after this census for the first time with redistricting in its history because people are voting with their feet. Uh, and even, even uh, industries like tech are leaving and coming to Texas, Tennessee, uh, and Florida mm -hmm. in droves. I have three new neighbors just in my neighborhood from California. People are voting with their feet. Uh. They're tired of this high tax, high, high tax, high regulation, kind of lockdown government knows all mentality. Uh, and they right. want to come to a place where they can keep money in their pocket where they can make decisions for their family uh, and government gets out of the way and gives them opportunity to live their lives. Uh, and that to me describes the great state of Florida. That is exactly right. I just hope those Californians don't bring their politics with them. But I, I need to move on. Let's take a look at this op-ed. It was in the Miami Herald. And then the headline read, last lesson of 2021, Florida. Omicron happens when we act selfishly, like Governor DeSantis. Is the governor being selfish? <laughs> you know, the governor, like <laughs> I said, the governor is putting these decisions in the hands of uh, individuals and in the hands of families and local communities. And that underscores, I think, the philosophical difference. We trust people to make the best yeah. decisions for themselves and their small businesses. No business owner wants uh, their employees or their customers to get sick. So they put common sense protections in, in place. But the last thing we need, uh, uh, you know, sorry, Miami Herald, is people in Tallahassee or Washington, D.C., dictating every kind of nook and cranny, every uh, step that you make to get through a, a pandemic. Give us the resources and supplies that we need and people and businesses can right. make those decisions. And that's why Florida is booming. And ironically, Miami Herald, Miami is leading the charge in terms of that boom. I think you couldn't have put it better. You know, as I said, I kind of joked earlier about not bringing their politics with them. But I'm deadly serious about that because I think we're seeing a bit of that in Texas, which makes no sense. They left California because of those policies, and yet they yeah. still bring the politics with them. That makes no sense to me. Well, we've re-registered uh, conservatives moving in at the rate of 1,000 a day. And now Florida, for the first time in ah. history, by registration, has more Republicans than Democrats. So... Uh, so I think well you know, we're, we're going to have good things <laughs> in store for us in 2022. Very good. Very positive. Congressman, thank you so much. Appreciate your time. Okay. Thanks so much. And uh, God bless. Thank you. Same to you.